Hi YouTube, this is Michigan Snow Pony or Renee, and I'm doing tomatoes again, more still. <laughs> uh, and it occurred to me, you guys might want to see this little uh, gadget in action. I got this from Layman's. It's called a Roma tomato juicer or tomato processor. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to also link in the information box to another video of a gal that has a different kind of one of these, uh, probably a more extensive, expensive one, but it, I think it works better. This doesn't work bad, however, and that's what I want to show you. You can make the decision whether or not this might be something you would invest in. I'm doing a lot of tomatoes. Um, in fact, let me just show this you. This is what I have left to do. This is a laundry basket full. Oh, see, there's my hand. Um, and I've done a couple, <laughs> a couple loads of these. And so if I didn't have that many tomatoes, I'm not sure I'd invest in one of these juicers. But because I do have so many tomatoes, I'm thrilled that I have it this year. Um, okay, I'm going to go back in. Well, there's some corn I'm drying from my corn patch for seed next year. Wood's getting put in the, the garage. We're getting ready for winter here. Okay, back in the house. Okay, um, I have some sauce already simmering on the stove. Um, and I just need to top this one off, so I think that batch in the sink will do it. This one's been simmering for a while. It was right up at the top, and it's gone down about, oh, an inch and a half. And uh, then I'll be canning that up when I'm done. I don't like to make spaghetti sauce, taco sauce, um, what else? Uh, pizza sauce. I don't like to make them all separate because then I have to figure out how many jars I need of each. I'd rather just make tomato sauce and then doctor it up when I open it according to what I'm making with it. So keeps it simple. All right, back to this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these tomatoes, core them, and have or quarter them and put them in here. Now, if I were making salsa or bruschetta or something like that with a little body to it other than a sauce, I would blanch these tomatoes first and take the skins off. Uh, with this particular uh, juicer or processor, you need to do that if you want to use what comes out of here in something else. Um, today I'm just using all of it for sauce, so I'm not going to take the skins off first. Okay, so let me just get these ready and put them in there and we'll go from there. Okay, I've got this on a stand of sorts. Hopefully it won't fall off. And I've got my quarter tomatoes in the top. I'm just going to plunge them down a little bit before we start. And then I'm going to start cranking. Now this does come with a suction at the base as well as a clamp. I have nothing to clamp it onto in this kitchen, so I have to rely on the suction. And I don't find it particularly strong. I couldn't run this one-handed, for example. So I just put one hand here, and that steadies it, and away I go. And once we get going, it comes out much faster. I keep getting interrupted. I've shot this segment about 800 times. <laughs> the phone rings, the dogs bark. I've had two people come over. I'm going to get a gate across the driveway with a closed sign on it, I think. <laughs> it's open and closed. How's that for antisocial? No, not really. The one was a salesman, and I just assumed they didn't come. you can see, it come, juice is coming out here, and what I call the guts over there. And if, like I said, if I had uh, blanched these and, and peeled the skin off, I'd be using this for salsa. And still have my juice to boil down into sauce. So this is going to be the boring part. Okay. But you get the gist of it. You get the idea. And I think this retails for right around $60 at Lehman's. You might be able to find it cheaper at eBay or um, maybe a hardware store near you. I don't know. I just saw it and thought, oh, that's a pretty neat slick gizmo. And I, re I like it. I like the other one in the other video as well, but for the money, I like this one. <laughs> and... Um, as long as I can run this stuff back through, 
Um, when I just want to make sauce, that's fine with me. I don't mind an extra little bit of work. And we'll get to that point. And then I'll show you what that looks like beforehand and then the second time through how much drier it is. Okay, this is the pulp that comes out, the seeds and the skin the first time around. You probably can't appreciate this with this camera, but it's pretty juicy. So I'm just going to take this and run it right back through for a second time. And uh, you can see how full this is? Pretty full. I'm going to dump this so you can see how much juice you get the second time. Okay, there's the second time around. This is much drier. It's basically skins and seeds. And over here, there's that much more juice. And if we take that over and add it to my pot, I think I am done as far as what I can fit on the stove for the day. This is going to have to boil down for most of the day. And then once it reaches about half volume, put it in jars, water bath can it. Because remember, tomatoes are considered a fruit, so you can water bath them. They're high acid. And uh, put it in my jars. Have more tomato sauce. Never have too much tomato sauce. <laughs> this is how I like to boil mine down. I just like to keep it steaming. I really don't. I bring it to a boil, turn it down, just let it simmer. This is going to take a while to simmer that big pot. So there you go. Check this one out. The Roma. It's actually called a um, food uh, sauce maker food strainer. I had to go look at the box. Um, from Layman's. And then check out the other video of the other model. And uh, maybe you'll be interested in getting one for yourself. That's all, YouTube. Bye-bye. Chickens love tomato season.